The 6.5 is on the road here in San Jose at AMD's Advancing AI event 2025. Dan, it has been an amazing event. I mean, the walk-ons, Sam Altman, uh, XAI, those were surprises. And then, of course, we had the Microsofts out there. A pretty, pretty amazing event. Yeah, it was a who's who. And then, of course, if you read the ecosystem announcements, saw the solutions provider, there was very little debate that there's a significant entry here and that, you know, the AMD mark, or AMD looking to grab market. And uh, I thought it was a really positive day overall. Yeah, the rack scale solutions were a big reminder of everything it takes to pull a solution together. Yeah. Uh, CPU, GPU, scale up and scale out networking inside of a rack. And it's funny, we're very fixated when it comes to AI on, on the GPU, but quite frankly, you can't do what you need to do uh, without the CPU, uh, and the CPU for pretty much the other 90% of the workloads outside of AI, it's the only game in town. And I can't imagine a better guy to talk to about that than Dan McNamara, who runs Epic for AMD. Dan, welcome to the show. Good to see you. Thank you. Great to see you guys. Yeah, yeah it is great. And I mean, it's just great that you pointed that out, Pat, because it is the GPU, but it's also the CPU. It's the networking. It's the power. And anyone that has a missing component of any of those realizes very quickly you need all these things to be successful. But I mean, Epic has done tremendously well. Yes. It's done tremendously well, Dan. Outside of a pure AI play, uh, gaining a lot of market share. We've been watching that closely. And of course, now with the AI, it's creating a, a, a vector of new demand. You know, you you introduced the fifth generation Epic Turin uh, several months several months ago. Yeah. Walk us through kind of the traction you're seeing. We're watching that market share grow. Um, you know, it seems to be going really well. Yeah, it's uh, so it's super exciting time for us. Obviously, today was wonderful. But when you talk about you know the CPU business, Turin, we launched it back in October, and. Um, I've been over the last, Pat, actually since the last time I saw you, I think I've been on the yeah. road exclusively talking to enterprise and cloud customers. So we're seeing a dramatic uh, traction in terms of, if you look at the cloud, we're up over a thousand instances. If you look at the the OEM uh, base, we're up over, turn alone's over 120 platforms. So it's really starting to roll. And you know some of the things that I'm seeing across the enterprise right. is really, the focus on, you know, four years ago, we were talking about moving from Rome to Milan, and Milan was a real, really good inflection for us in the enterprise. But now it's a great conversation in terms of there's some workloads still on Milan, there's sure. some on Genoa, and then a bunch are moving to Turin. So it's just exciting. And it's across all verticals, right? FSI, Telco, you probably saw the Nokia announcement um, that we just announced uh, with Nokia Cloud uh, on Turin. Um, it's retail, it's healthcare. So we're very, very excited about the traction across both cloud and enterprise on-prem. And we're also seeing a nice pull of cloud instances into the enterprise too, right. which is also great. Yeah, it's funny, uh, I, I'm an ex amd -er. Uh, I'm here. I'm here <laughs> to tell you. Never heard that before. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, uh, launched, a, launched a chip called Opteron uh, when I was there. In fact, I hired the first product manager for Opteron, saw the market share go up, and then it went to about zero, yes. okay? And then the fact that you have record market share now is absolutely amazing. And, you know, 50% market share at certain hyperscalers. Uh, enterprise typically always lags uh, on, uh, on adoption, and that's really kind of where you're going. But I have to ask you, like, how has the team done this? I mean, it's not just some magic that comes in and waves the wand. How are you doing this? Yeah, it's... Uh it's a great question. So first and foremost, there's really three pillars to talk about, right? First is build the best silicon, right? Perf per dollar, perf per watt, just optimize for workloads and deliver gen on gen, you know, big gains, but also build the trust of the customer and deliver on time. Do right. what you say. That's first. Second is really about building the broad ecosystem and enablement of what I call efficient modernization, right? So building solutions that drive big cost savings or consolidation and capex savings yeah. and, and energy savings. So that's been really the focus. And then the third pillar really is about AI, this end-to-end -end AI. How do you plug into and enable both enterprise and cloud customers to drive you know, their AI needs. So it's those are the three key pillars we're very, very focused on. Yeah, the say your say do ratio is amazing. In, in what you're doing. Execution's great. 
And I want to congratulate you on that Opteron market share. <laughs> but, 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 but I did want to also ask you, where were you when it went back to zero? I was still at the company. Okay. No. Yes. No, no, actually, I, um, I, had, I had left. Yeah, yeah. You left. Of I, I course you left. I would say, thankfully, Opteron doesn't come up anymore. In Rome time yes. frame, it did. It's, you still had to hear no about it. Yes. <laughs> well, I think that's, uh, you know, the signal is that you've built that trust. And every layer, yeah. every new release, every time you win, you know, and it's not just a few customers anymore. It's many customers. And yeah. I think that becomes the reference and those hyperscalers really make it easier to win those enterprises. I mean, that's that's been big. So let's let's look into the future because I know you only have a few minutes with us. We really appreciate you making the time, Dan. But you know, we have a new wave of compute to band, and you are worried about the CPU business. Pat's point about the GPUs is real. The future is kind of an AI architecture. GPU will lead the volume in some ways, maybe not the total number, but it, the the dollar volume. But the CPU is still really critical. What are the critical innovations that AMD needs to drive to meet that AI need? Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of what we rolled out today. And what's exciting about it is if you think about us, right, we've been very good at optimizing, you know, like we just talked about, what are we doing in server, right? Yeah. And GPUs has had a good track, a uh, little uh, sort of run here, you know, getting back in, into the market, right? And then you've got networking, but what's, the, you know, how this becomes really transformational is tying this all together with the Helios rack and the complete full stack solution. So if you think about it, the best compute engines open, open again, yeah. <laughs> stay open, uh, a completely open ecosystem. And then lastly, deliver these full stack solutions. And I think that's really the transformational journey we're on. And that's what we're really all excited about. And, and we'll all continue to optimize individually, but we will optimize at this, this full rack level. Are you and changing I, the, the recipe specifically for enterprises, though? Enterprises will be, you, I, I just had an enterprise roundtable with a, a number of folks, and, and it's really, with them, is they're all in a different spot on their journey. Right. And that does need to be a little bit more a la carte. Truly, yes. and that's how we're going to approach it. So, uh, but you know, I, we do believe that delivering this full stack, completely verified and validated, right. is super critical going forward. So that's also where you'll have your partners, your solutions builders exactly. that will work with you. You'll use the validated solutions, but they'll build it to scale so that AMD doesn't have to take all that on. But you give them a lot of that reference architecture that they exactly. need to get it done. Dan, I want to thank you so much for spending a little time with us. We know it's a crazy time here, um, but great event. Yeah, thank you guys. You guys are great and uh, really appreciate the time. Thanks, Dan. And thank you, everybody, for being part of this 6.5 on the road. We are here in San Jose, California at Advancing AI along with AMD. Hit subscribe, join us for all of our other coverage and content here at the event. We got to go. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye.